Welcome to the Michigan Electronic Library, also known as MEL or the Michigan eLibrary, brought to you by the Library of Michigan and available at school or at home or wherever you have internet access. MEL contains reliable, credible resources available at no cost to use when doing research for your papers or projects. MEL's Teens Gateway is your first stop when using the Michigan eLibrary. The Teens Gateway is the last button in the list of gateways on the left side of the MEL homepage, underneath the MEL logo. This is the MEL Teens Gateway page. It contains resources that students from middle school into their freshman and sophomore year in college can use. We've listed numerous MEL databases that contain reliable, authoritative resources from reputable sources, such as journal, magazine, and newspaper articles, videos, photographs, broadcast transcripts, and reference books. We have also built out the recommended websites for teens in the areas of homework help, college prep, and life skills. We've scrolled through the key resources in the Teens Gateway and selected InfoTrack Student Edition. Note that this database, as do most of the others, links to magazines, newspapers, journals, and reference books, not websites. That said, searching a database is different from using a web browser such as Google, which searches for information found on websites. We've done a search on Young Voters in InfoTrack Student Edition. Note that we will be searching for all full text articles, but you can also limit your search results to peer-reviewed publications or articles with images. When searching for articles, leave out all unnecessary words such as the, of, in. Too broad a search term such as voters will result in many retrievals and may not be what you actually want. On the other hand, too narrow a search such as Young Michigan Voters 2008 may result in few or no articles retrieved. This is the results page for our search on young voters. Note the variety of content types, magazines, journal and newspaper articles, plus video clips and transcripts from audio broadcasts. We are looking at the academic journal articles from this search. You can tell the length of an article by its word count. Don't stop at the first article, read through several. They are arranged chronologically with the most recent first. We have selected the article, Reshaping the Electorate, by clicking on the title from the search results page. The source is the name of the journal, in this case, the American Prospect. The number 22.3 refers to the volume number and issue number, respectively. April 2011 is the article's publication date. It begins on page 11 of the print version of the journal. Be sure to look at the sidebar to the left on the page for other suggested topics and subdivisions of the search topic. The number in parentheses tells you how many articles have been assigned to that subject. Note the toolbox on the right side of the page. You can, for example, print, email, download, and more. You can also translate the article into many different languages, and you can have the article read to you by clicking on the Listen link. When you click on the Citation Tools link in the toolbox, a pop-up window will appear. A citation contains the author's name, title of article, name of journal or source, volume number, issue number, print version page number, database name, how accessed via the web in this case, and date accessed. Including a citation in your paper or project lets your instructor know about the sources you used and where you found them. Using the citation tools in InfoTrack Student Edition, you can save your article citation in either MLA or APA format, or you can look at the end of the article for the source citation, seen here in red in MLA format. In MEL, you can also find a citation generator, which enables you to format about any resource that you've found for your paper or project. Just click on the Teens Gateway in MEL and choose Homework Help. In this list of recommended websites, you will find Nightsight. This tool is a citation generator from Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Fill in the blanks. If you are using a MEL database, be sure to click the Yes in the drop-down and then type the name of the database you searched. This will let your instructor know that you are using a reliable resource. Click on the Submit button and your resource will be formatted into either MLA, APA, or Chicago Styles. Opposing viewpoints and context will be available in MEL beginning October 1, 2011. This database provides a complete one-stop source for information on social issues and is a great resource for speeches, debates, or finding pro and con discussions. You can access viewpoint articles, topic overviews, statistics, primary documents, links to websites, and full-text magazine and newspaper articles. The front page provides a number of current topics of interest. If you want an expanded list of topics, click on the Issues tab in the upper left-hand part of the page. The Issues screen gives you many topics to choose from.
Click on one of them and you are directed to information on the topic. Scroll down the page to see the other resources on the topic you've chosen. You will find the viewpoint articles, reference book articles, newspapers, magazines, and academic journals, and statistics on the topic, all of which are available in full text. If your topic is not listed under the Issues tab, type in your search term in the search box on top of the front page and click the search box. This is Learning Express Library, another useful MEL database. You can access this resource from the MEL homepage or in the key resources in the Teens Gateway. It is extremely useful in skills building in core subjects beginning in grade four through college. Learning Express Library also includes test prep for the college entrance exams. When using Learning Express Library, you create a personal account in which you can store the tests and tutorials on which you are working. Learning Express Library has practice tests for the college entrance exams the ACT, SAT, AP, and PLEP. They are timed and scored, just like the actual tests. These are the advanced placement tests in Learning Express Library. Just click on the plus sign to expand the category of your choice. Learning Express Library also includes tutorials for the latest versions of the Microsoft Office Suite, Adobe, and Windows and Mac operating systems. High school students can take tests, tutorials, and use eBooks in the core subject areas of math, reading, and science. You can also improve your vocabulary and spelling. Just like all the MEL resources, Learning Express Library is available at no cost to all Michigan residents. There are other subject gateways that showcase all the MEL resources, full text databases, recommended websites, and where appropriate, suggested MELCAT books and other library materials. This is the Books and Reading Gateway. If you are looking for information on a work of fiction, use the Books and Authors database, where you can search by title, author, genre, and award winners. You can also find book reviews and author bios, create reading lists, and more. Looking for library materials such as books, DVDs, and CDs that your school or public library doesn't have? Search MELCAT, the statewide shared catalog in MEL. If your library participates in MELCAT, you can have requested items sent to your home library for pickup. MELCAT is found on the homepage of MEL.org. This is the search page, and we are doing a title search. Search results will include not only the novel in this case, but commentary, analysis, and other materials which include the actual title of the work. The final component of MEL that students need to know about is Michigana. In it, you will find digital Michigan history collections full of primary resources, diaries, oral histories, maps, photographs, eyewitness accounts, and more. We also include recommended websites on Michigan history. Here is an example of one of Michigana's digital collections actual Civil War diaries from soldiers with connections to Michigan and or the Midwest from Western Michigan University Libraries. After doing a search of this collection, you will find a digital copy of the actual letter written by a Civil War soldier, along with a transcription, which makes it easier to read. You can take a tour of the wealth of resources made available in Mel Michigana by clicking on the first link in the digital collections list about Mel Michigana. Remember that you can access MEL resources at MEL.org from your school's website or anywhere you have internet access. Using the Michigan eLibrary will help you find good quality, reliable resources that will enable you to put together a well-researched paper or project, which will totally impress your instructor. For more information on the Michigan eLibrary, ask your instructor, school media specialist, or librarian at your local public library. You can also go to MEL.org and click on About.